Johnson's son told me that his mother was abandoned and the negligence with her care led to her death. The family says they wanted the truth to be known before the funeral about the circumstances surrounding her death. Former Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson's son, Kirk, described how he says he found his mother at Baylor Scott and White Rehabilitation Institute in September. Deplorable. She was being unattended to. She was screaming out in pain and for help. Johnson said his mother called him from her hospital bed on September 21st, saying no one was coming to assist her. When he got to the hospital less than 15 minutes later, he says she was laying in her own urine and feces. If she had gotten proper care at that facility, she would be here today. Baylor Scott and White was notified by the family's lawyer of an intent to sue for medical negligence and wrongful death. The hospital system responded to Fox 4's request for comment saying, Congresswoman Johnson was a longtime friend and champion in the communities we serve. She is an inspiration to all. We are committed to working directly with the Congresswoman's family members and their counsel. Eddie Bernice Johnson was undergoing rehab at the time for back surgery. Her longtime attorney, Les Wisebrod, says medical records show her death was due to infection of the surgery wound. All of the evidence is that uh, the infection she got was from the feces. Mm -hmm. And that's part of why it's so unforgivable. Wisebrod showed reporters medical records from treatments for the infection, with Johnson um, describing extreme pain, along with her death certificate listing a bone infection in the lumbar spine with no further elaboration. Wisebrod also told reporters Johnson knew what happened and told him to pursue legal action. Her son says he was told that nurses were in training leaving his mother alone for close to an hour. He later received a voicemail play for reporters with an apology from the case manager, citing a staff shortage. With her funeral next week, Wisebrod was asked why go public with these details before the former congresswoman was laid to rest. We thought it was important um, that people knew what happened and that, uh, you know, to go through the whole funeral service and all of the publicity and not have everybody know uh, what happened, um, we just didn't think that was right. Wisebrod told us that they believe that a resolution will be made in the mandatory 60-day waiting period uh, between the Baylor Scott and White and them. Uh, there is a mandatory cap on damages at $250,000. Wisebrod says that the Johnson family is looking to start a foundation to support things that the former congresswoman supported. Again, he thinks that a resolution will be made in that 60-day period. EBJ will lie in state at Fair Park on Monday, her funeral Tuesday morning at Concord Church. Stephen, thank you.